Good morning. No, you probably can't see me too well. It is 6.35 a.m. I am driving to work. And what am I thinking about? Game of Thrones. I was um, getting prepared for season six and I figured since they're going back and picking up some storylines from previous books, I should reread A Feast for Crows. <laughs> Feast for Crows is also like my favorite book anyway, so all I need is an excuse to read it. So I'm reading through and going through some of the chapters and I remembered that there was a time <laughs> when I was about to quit the books it was because of Feast for Crows, and in particular, Brienne. Brienne's chapters. So, I'm so conflicted about Brienne because she's one of my favorites, but I, her story is my least favorite because sometimes I have a hard time seeing the point in all of it, and also it's so tragic. I almost quit. So she, you know, Brienne has a, a hard time. People treat her like crap. They've been treating her like crap since she was a young girl. The only person that was ever kind to her, Renly, died in her arms. Sad. She links up with Cat, swears a vow to Cat. She dies. Sad. She decides she's gonna go try to keep her word and get help Cat get her girls. She's not doing too good at that. In the show, she finds them and they completely diss her. Sad. Then in the book, she meets up with Randall Tarly and oh my god, he was so mean to her. I was just like, is this necessary? <laughs> Jesus, this is sad. You know, before that, she's with Nimble Dick and he was shady, kind of, I thought. He ends up getting tragically killed in front of her. She ends up having to fight for her life and fight off these those horrible guys. I was just like, this is so sad and scary. And then after the Randall Tarley situation, I was just like, okay, so now things are going to get good for her. She's good. <laughs> and then she gets her face chewed off. After I read that, I, like, literally called my sister and I was like, I'm done with these books. If Bri Brienne just needs to die because I can't take this emotional trauma anymore and if she's still alive, I'm done. <laughs> I said, if I get another Brienne chapter and there's more, I don't know what else I can take. And then she gets hung! <laughs> it gets better! So, of course I didn't quit. I can't quit. But I really wanted to because I just couldn't take it anymore. Bram was just getting sent through the ringer. And <laughs> I don't even know. Something's good gotta happen to this woman, please. Please. Walking around with her face hanging off. Jesus be offense. So anyway, that was my story about the time I almost quit reading the books. Almost. <laughs> 